Hey everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th and you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your pictures. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make our mosaic gift card cozy. It's a fun and quick little video tutorial and it's perfect for hanging on your tree for those gift cards you wanna to give to your loved ones. So you'll need some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Wool of the Andes worsted weight in brass heather and white. You'll need some string for hanging, a nice little wooden bead, some scissors, a yarn needle, and I'm using a G crochet hook. It's a four millimeter furls hook and I'll have links for all of these items in the description box. You can also find the pattern and chart for free on the blog, so just check that description box for all those links. So I'm gonna be starting with Brass Heather, which is my color B. And the cozy is gonna be worked from the top down. We're starting with the band. So we'll begin with a slip knot. And we'll start with a chain five. And then we'll be working a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in every chain across so that we have four stitches. So that will be the width of our band that we work. Now I'll chain one and turn. And now the entire band is worked in the back loop only. chain one and turn and we're just going to continue working the band in the back loop only. Chain one and turn. So I'm going to do a total of 24 rows for this band and I'm gonna work that all off camera. You're just gonna keep going back and forth, crocheting those rows, and you want a total of 24. Okay, so I've completed my 24 rows. You can count the ridges. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'm ending on my right side. Our row one is the wrong side. Okay, so I like the, the ridges to be nice and even. Then we will chain one and fold the band together with your right sides facing. We'll slip stitch going through the back loop and over to the first chain and pull through. Go through the back loop and then slip stitch over. Just working all the way down here. So we should have four stitches. We'll chain one, flip this to the inside so we don't see that, and crochet over this tail as we work around. So now what you're gonna do is work one single crochet per row around so you'll have 24 stitches. We're just single crocheting into every row around. So I'll complete that off camera and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, and then on the slip stitch join here, we're gonna change over to white. And this will be the first row of our mosaic pattern, but it'll just be worked by single crocheting into every stitch around, you can just crochet over the white tail as you go. 
So just single crochet one into every stitch around. Okay, and we'll slip stitch to join. Make sure your tail for your slip stitch join is pulled tight because sometimes that can look like a stitch. Now we're gonna slip stitch in the back loop only. Change to color B. This will be row two of the chart and it will all be worked in the back loop only. So single crochet in the back loop only around in color B. Okay, so we'll slip stitch to join, changing back to A. And at this point, I will pop up my video on how to work through the chart. The mosaic pattern is the same for all of my ornaments for this collection. So I'm just gonna pop up that video and work through the mosaic chart with you. And the only difference with this design is that we're working 24 stitches instead of 18, which is just one additional repeat of six stitches. But other than that, everything works the same all the way around. Okay, so if you've never done mosaic crochet before and this is brand new, I'm gonna explain how our chart works. So what you're paying attention to is whether we have an X or a blank box. Just ignore the pattern and focus on that. So each round, we've already worked the first round A and the next round B. So we've worked all of these in the back loop only. The first round didn't really matter. I single crocheted around, that's okay because Row three works down in to row one, which will be this front loop that we've left because we worked the second row in the back loop, okay? So the first row can just be worked single crochet normally, but then the second row is all worked single crochet in the back loop only. So we've done that, now we're on to round three. So round three is back to color A. Then we're back to color B, A, B, A, B, etc. So we're just alternating colors. We do not change color throughout a round. What we will do to get this pattern created is do drop down double crochets. So whenever you see an X, we'll do a drop down double crochet. So we drop down and we work in that front loop of two rows below. The pattern repeats itself across, so it's really easy to memorize. We're doing two in the back loop, then a drop down, two single crochet in the back loop, a drop down, and that will just repeat itself. And you'll see as you go through that there'll be a pattern that's really easy and quick to memorize. So now for round three, we're gonna do two stitches in the back loop. So let's chain one. We're working into that very first stitch. So back loop back loop and then the next stitch is going to be a drop down. So here's the next stitch. We go down two rows below. We work a double crochet working down through that loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Then we work two in the back loop. One, two, and then in the next, a drop down again. And we're just repeating now this pattern all the way around. We're ending with a drop down. Okay, so I've ended here with my drop down. We'll slip stitch in the back loop only to join. And on that slip stitch, we are grabbing color B. Make sure you pull all the tails nice and tight because that will keep that join really invisible. We'll chain one to secure it all. And then I'll take a look at round four. So round four starts with a drop down. We do three in the back loop, three single crochet in the back, back loop. And then we have this drop down, single drop down, and then three, and then the single drop down single. So let's get this one going. Now this chart is on the blog for free so you can go and follow along. Okay, 
and then we'll do three in the back loop. Okay, and then these drop downs are going to be going around this drop down. It's always good when you're working mosaic to kind of look. It's easy if you just get off one stitch to mess up the pattern. So you really want to just take a look at the chart and see where you're going to be putting those stitches. So I'll be doing a drop down. Single crochet in the back loop and then a drop down. Okay, and then I have three in the back loop. And then this pattern is just repetitive all the way around. We're doing these drop downs around that white drop down. So the single crochet in the back loops going the top of that drop down. Whoops. One, two, three. And I've worked myself all the way around. One in the back loop. And then make sure to slip stitch in the back loop. Now we're dropping off B, picking A back up. Pull the tails tight and chain one to secure everything. And now we're looking at round five, which we have a single crochet in the back loop. Then we do a drop down, back loop drop down, and then three, and then that pattern repeats. So a single crochet in the back loop. Then we're gonna have, see these like three little loops? We're gonna have a drop down, single crochet in the back loop, and then a drop down. So this little shape is going to start forming, and then we do three in the back loop. One, two, three. Come to the next three loops that are available. Drop down, back loop, drop down. So just work that around. Okay, so we're ending with two in the back loop. We're gonna slip stitch in the back loop to join. Picking up color B, pull the tails tight and chain one. So now we're on to round six and round six will work two in the back loop and then a drop down and that's repeated all the way around. So two in the back loop and then a drop down, two in the back loop and a drop down. So repeat that all the way around. And I've ended this round with a drop down. We're going to slip stitch in the back loop only, changing back to A, chain one. And for round seven, we're going to begin with a drop down. Find that little loop. It's a little hard to see. And then we have three in the back loop. One, two, three, and then we're doing drop downs around this drop down here. So drop down, back loop, and drop down. And then we'll work three in the back loop. And so we're just repeating that pattern now all the way around. So we do drop down, single crochet back loop, drop down. And I've ended this one off with a single crochet in the back loop. We are going to change over again, slip stitch in the back loop only. We're working a total of 12 rounds, so just bear with me. OK, 
Okay, so we're now on to round eight and we'll do single crochet in the back loop. We'll have a drop down, single drop down, and then three, and then that pattern repeats. So back loop only. Then we have a drop down. single crochet in the back loop and a drop down then one two three and the pattern repeats okay I've already got my slip stitch and chain one done nine is now two in the back loop and then a drop down and that pattern just repeats itself all the way around. Two in the back loop and a drop down. Okay, so I've slip stitch, chained one and then for round 10, we'll do a drop down or a single crochet in the back loop and then we're doing a drop down single crochet in the back loop drop down and then three drop down single crochet back loop drop down and repeat that around Okay, and round 11, we're going to start with a drop down. It's kind of hidden in there. We'll work three in the back loop. And then a drop down back loop and drop down. And we're just repeating this pattern around. Okay, so once you get all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch to join and change back to color B. Chain one. And now for round 12, we're going to work in the back loop of the first two and a drop down in the next. So back loop of the next two. And drop down. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. Okay, and we'll slip stitch to join and I'm just gonna go through the full stitch. I'm gonna trim off the white so that we'll need to get, we'll need to weave in that end. Just push that inside. So you just wanna fold it in half. You could do a couple things here. You could flip it inside out and seam it that way. I just crocheted across and did this one with the seam on the bottom, which makes it really easy. All you would need to do to do that is work in the back loops and just single crochet across. So I'm going through the back loop and then the first loop on that side of that stitch. Okay, so you can work it like that all the way across. Or if you don't want that seam, you can just sew it on the inside or slip stitch it to the inside, whatever, whatever you want.
Okay, so you should have 12 stitches here worked across half of the 24. And you can just fasten that off. Weave in all of your tails. And then I just thought the little tassel was so cute to add to the side. So that's really simple as well to make. Now I'm just gonna quickly weave in all my ends and then I am going to meet you back up once I've done that. And really simple, just weave all your ends in. Just make sure you're gonna go one way and then back in the opposite direction. And flip it inside out and do the inside end. So for your tassel, I'm gonna take it at about six inches and we're just going to do about 10. So there's three, four, five, So I have 10. Now I've already cut a piece of string. You're gonna use the string now to tie the center of the tassel. Get that knotted. Then we're gonna take another piece of yarn to make our tassel ball. Gonna try and make mine similar in size. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever size. We'll give that a good little knot. Then what I'm gonna do is take a yarn needle. The one piece just kind of falls nicely. I'm just gonna take the other one and just weave it down. And then you can just trim so now what I'm gonna do is attach it first to the side I'm not gonna put the bead on yet I'm gonna add the bead once we have this fastened So let's go into the side here. Now, I actually, I think I want it to hang a little bit more actually into that ridge. I think that might allow it to hang a little bit better. So it's gonna hang nice. Let's give it a little knot. Now what we can do is weave on that bead. Okay, and then we just need to knot this for hanging. I hope
hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.